Recently, we shot a commercial for the ESP8266 thing and how you can use it in association with the Blink app in order to make simple internet connected projects. If you haven't seen that video, check out the link in the description. Fireball, you're a rock star. During the filming of that project, myself and the other creative technologists built a handful of projects to show off how you can use the Thing dev board. And my project, the Internet Connected Flamethrower, was sort of the grand finale of the video. The nozzle and the expansion chamber are made out of galvanized pipe nipples and plumbing adapters. All of them are put together with this yellow Teflon tape which is specifically designed to be used with gas connections. At the very end, I've used a bolt to affix one of our silicon nitride igniters. I ran the wire for the igniter along the bottom of the flamethrower expansion chamber and then wrapped the whole thing in this titanium heat wrap that I happen to have laying around because it's the same thing I used to wrap the exhaust pipe on my motorcycle. This portion of the igniter wire is luckily shielded with a little bit of fiberglass insulation. Down at this end of the assembly, this is just a brass T connector I have a plug in here because I originally wanted to measure the internal pressure. These two solenoid valves I bought from Amazon, and they allow me to control the flow of gas from the end of a standard camp stove propane tank. In order to control both of the solenoids, as well as the silicon nitride igniter, I've connected them all to a bank of relays, which are in turn connected to one of our thing dev boards. And I've put all of that inside of this plastic ammunition container. And the nice thing about these relays is that they have a transistor on board, so it's really simple to switch them using 5 volt logic from the microcontroller. The sealed lead acid battery is there because I need 12 volts for the silicon nitride igniter and I need it to be able to deliver enough current to keep the igniter red hot. I chose to set this up as an access point, which means that it's broadcasting its own Wi-Fi network. All I have to do is navigate to the web page that it's serving and I'll be presented with a list of links. Those links will allow me to control the hardware on the flamethrower. So if I press one link, for instance, I can turn on the igniter. Press another link and I can dump one of the propane tanks for half a second. And finally, I can dump both tanks at once, putting a lot of propane into the system and causing there to be a huge fireball at the end. If you want to know more about using the thing as an access point, you can check out my write-up for this project as well as my write-up for the Rogue Router project, which uses very similar firmware. And if you want to know more about these propane-powered flamethrowers, you can look up the term propane puffer, which is pretty much the standard term for devices like this. <laughs> Set myself on fire! Glad I don't have hair anymore.